If you've been looking at the New South Wales Health Facebook page or website, you'll know that in the last couple of days they've stopped reporting on vaccination status of virus victims. It's not just me who's noticed it, many others have as well. Suddenly we are not elaborating on the vax status of those that have passed. May I ask why? Are they all double vaccinated virus deaths now? Why the sudden change? That's two days in a row now. I decided to try to figure out what was going on and chart the trends over the last month or so. Here's two weeks of data from 9th of December to the 22nd of December 2021. There were 14 virus deaths, 43% of which were unvaccinated, shown in green, noting that of those aged 16 or over, 94.7% had one dose and 93% were fully vaccinated. From 16th of December to 29th of December, 15 people died, 33% of which were unvaccinated, with only a very slight increase in vaccination numbers. From 23rd of December to the 5th of January 2022, a significant increase in deaths occurred, 36 total virus deaths, 19% of which were unvaccinated, with again only a very slight increase in total vaccination numbers. If we just include 2022 data, the six days, sorry, the five days between January 1st and January 5th, there were 20 deaths, 15% of which were unvaccinated. Now that's where the government decided to stop reporting this information. From the very next day, 6th of January, they were no longer reporting vaccination status in victims. Some of you have pointed out that the unvaccinated are still disproportionately affected, and that's true. But why did the government stop reporting? Well, looking at this trend again, 43% unvaccinated, 33% unvaccinated, 19% unvaccinated, 15% unvaccinated. One more time, 43%, 33%, 19%, 15%. And then the government stopped reporting. Why? In the four days since 5th of January, there have been 42 virus deaths in total, only one of which they reported on their vaccination status. A man in his 20s who had received two doses. In one of my recent polls on YouTube, I asked, why did the New South Wales government stop reporting the WAC status of COVID victims? 4% said that WAC status is private information, unless you enter a cafe. 11% think that the government think that the public will misinterpret the data, while the overwhelming majority of respondents, 75%, said that too many waxed people are pushing up daisies. 5% think that the government are swamped with cases and don't have time to investigate, while 5% think there were other reasons. Things like the data would go against the narrative of vaccines being an effective way to end the pandemic. If normal people can see that vaccinated people are still dying, then that could potentially lessen their desire to race out and get their booster shot, at least in some percentage of the population. Unfortunately, because the government are refusing to publish this information now, we are all left guessing.